I think it's a problem. Yeah. But it's like once, so yeah, it's once like in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon, you can sleep on the couch. You know, give me mercy. No, you're choosing that's, that's, to do that. Because I, because I do once in a blue moon. You can forgive me. Bombastic side eye. No. How to live life. Everybody. hello <laughs> welcome back to our channel <laughs> so as you can tell by this title in this video we are going to be talking about some of our arguments that we had from this past month so man had no idea that i even thought of this or was doing this mm. he literally just found out this video topic yes like i'm not prepared 20 seconds ago but I didn't want you to prepare because there's really nothing to prepare. We just talk about what we did. So in the month of June, anytime we had an argument or fight, I wrote it down and I detailed it out. Not detailed, but I just wrote it down what happened. And then I figured we can talk about it, like how we, what were we feeling and how we resolved it in the end. So, on average, do you think we argue a lot or fight a lot? Maybe? Oh, you think we argue a lot? Um... How often is like how many times are like, it's it's your own often. opinion. It's my opinion. Compared, if you, I guess compared to the other people or mm. just what you think is a lot and or a little. Mm. I mean, we. I don't think we argue like a lot, mm. or I think we argue often, or that's literally the same thing. No, it's like if a hundred percent, like ten point, if like a lot too often. What's the difference? A lot is like an almost like ninety percent. And what is often? often? Often is a high percentage too. Uh, come on, I got fifty, fifty, fifty. Oh, fifty, fifty. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, fifty, fifty. You're <laughs> very interesting. I would say we don't argue that much. <laughs> right? Yeah. How, do you, how many times do you think we argued last month? Last month? Yeah, the mm. whole month. I recorded the whole month. Three times, four times. Yeah, three times. That's, a, that's 50, 50 out of 30 days. <laughs> that's not 50, 50. Do you know that? <laughs> out of 30 days, that means 15 days we would have argued. Ah, uh, no, 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 not that. No. That's 50-50. That means like 50% of the year we're arguing. At least that's how I see it. Right? I guess. Or, I mean, I'm not right. I mean, I don't know. That's just how I see the math. 50% would be 50% of the time. So, if you range 30 days, then <clears throat> 15 of those days. Then maybe yeah, 10%. <laughs> <laughs> so then is it not often? It's... Yes. I, <laughs> I don't so. want to change what you think. He thinks we argue often. But I don't know if often is the word you're thinking of. Often is a very high percentage in English. Mm. Like I, if you rank uh, it, always, I think, usually often. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. From below, often. <laughs> okay, so we had three arguments last month. And I think like couples should be more transparent like we're not all just like perfect like relationship we do have our our faults so i wrote down the three arguments we had our first one was on the fourth then we had one soon after the sixth and then from there it was like a long time and it wasn't until the 25th okay so the one on our fourth i'm gonna read it off the phone my side of the story because there's always two sides we wanted to ask his mom about something about our wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah, our food. Mm -hmm. We wanted to ask mom about, because we had like a menu 
yeah. And there was like different choices. Yes. So we ma we talked not we men spoke to mom before about the food. And so I thought, oh, we have the menu. We were unsure which one we kind of liked. We were between two choices. So I said, oh, we should ask mom what she thinks. And I asked Min to send a message. But you you asked me to send a message. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you can just send it. Here's my phone. And mm -hmm. just write it out. Because mm -hmm. one, he can write in Korean way faster than me. And two, I didn't think it was like anything important. Well, I thought it's better for him to say it because he was the main one talking to mom about the food. What happened was he didn't like that he was writing the message to mom on my phone. I think it was a good opportunity for you to talk mm -hmm. to my mom. Mm -hmm. Especially um, if there is like a little bit of language barrier, mm. it might be really helpful if you just text. Because mm -hmm. yes. at least you can use like translator That's right. mm -hmm. or get help a little bit from me. Mm -hmm. But when it's like in like speaking, mm -hmm. you know, in, in person, mm. It's very, very hard to communicate in a different mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. So I thought it was, yeah, that was a good mm -hmm. opportunity. So what made this escalate, because right now it kind of just seems like low level, mm -hmm. was you made a comment that it just sounds like I'm talking to mom with your phone. Yeah. And I said, why does that matter? Like, to me, that doesn't make a difference. But you kind of argued your stance, like why you thought that, and I kind of argued mine, why I wanted you to just sit, write it. And then we just kind of went silent. We were just kind of both upset. And then a f some time passed, and then I was just, I said sorry. Even though from the beginning, my feelings got hurt first because of the comment you said. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, it just sounds like I'm writing it. But I, I ended up saying sorry, but I said sorry kind of like, uh, not in a mean way, but kind of like a little bit like, I wouldn't say sarcastically. It's like, okay. Yeah, okay. like, sorry. Like, sorry I wanted you to write the message kind of thing. So I guess kind of like sarcastic in a way. Mm -hmm. Because in my head, I shouldn't be the one to be saying sorry. Like, mm -hmm. my feelings were hurt. But men's argument style is he needs time like he will go silent for a long time and he's like processing what to say he doesn't want to say anything wrong so he takes a long time and my argument style is talk it out right now like we need to solve it i don't want to wait just say something but he doesn't say anything so then it kind of makes me more upset so then i just was like well sorry i asked you to do that whatever and Min still said nothing. He never re he never replied. Even when I say something to try to mitigate the situation, he stays silent, which really doesn't help me. And then I got so angry, I just left the room and went to the bedroom. And later on, like a few minutes, like five or so minutes, Min finally came back, came to the room. Finally. <laughs> and apologized. <laughs> So I would say one of our major problems would be how we solve our arguments in the sense that men needs a lot of time to process and I don't want a, to wait a lot of time. So we definitely have to and are still learning how to compromise and find the middle point. Mm -hmm. Like, so he's not taking forever <clears throat> and I'm not waiting. I don't like just sitting in silence. Silence. I don't want to say something. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm telling you, it will go forever. If, like, literally long time, like, quite long. And so then my anger just gets more because I'm just waiting. I'll ask a question or something and then waiting for his response. And it'll be like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. But one good thing is, we, even though men likes to take a long time to <laughs> reply, we typically don't like our our arguments don't last that long they don't go we never fall asleep angry i think maybe we've done that one time maybe 
Uh, but not angry, just like our feelings were upset, like we felt sad. Never angry. But yeah, we always just talk it out. And then afterwards, we both said our sides. Once men came to apologize, then I said what I thought and men said what he thought. And both sides are valid. No one was right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Like in the end, that's how arguments can go. There's not necessarily a right or wrong side. So we saw both sides and then we said sorry. And we moved on. <laughs> <laughs> Our second argument is very unique. Was it? This, what happened before could possibly happen again in the future. It was just like what I thought and what he thought. And then it didn't line up. And so we kind of like, what? That can happen. But this situation is very rare. And it was on the 6th. And you came home at 4 a.m. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, if you guys have been following our channel for some time, you know that we do not drink alcohol. We're not partiers or any of that kind. So, it's quite rare, if not almost never happens, that men stays out late. Sometimes he'll go see his friends, but even that is not common. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe he'll just go get dinner. And there was, like, in the past a couple times when you were out late mm -hmm. and you got home, like, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. But this time you got home at 4 a.m. Yeah. So what caused the argument, this argument has, like, a little bit of multi-layers, was you sent, you told me you were going to hang out with your friends. Yes. And on the phone, I was like, okay, don't stay, stay out long. But you did. Mm -hmm. Which is, I'm not... Man, like, I don't control your life. Mm -hmm. But I asked you to not stay out long. But you did. So, I was upset that you didn't tell me. Mm. Like, you did. he didn't send any message that... Yeah, like, I'm gonna be late. Late, yeah. Just update me. Because now I'm staying up wondering. And I'm not someone to blow up his phone. Like, I'm not gonna call him or message him. Because I know he's out having been with his friends. But I expect on his side to at least update me. Hey, I'm going to be out quite late. Don't stay up. Mm -hmm. So I stayed up upset because he didn't message me. And I don't know when he's coming home. And on top of that, I knew he probably drank something. And I'm just really against drinking. I think there's no benefit to it. My personal views, there's zero benefits for your body. And I think there's no reason to take part in it and especially for men the doctor literally said he should not drink not even one bottle the whole year he couldn't he shouldn't even drink that so when i hear that possibly he's drinking it makes me really sad and like because i know it's just, he's just harming his body and it makes me sad that he decides to make those choices but he is his own person he could do what he wants but doesn't change my how i feel so he didn't mess with me and I knew he was drinking and then he came home and men acts a little bit different and I don't like seeing how he acts different. It's not bad mm -hmm. when he has has had alcohol. He's very extra loving and like, yes, very loving. So it's really not a bad sign, but I don't like seeing a different person, different mm -hmm. acting, regardless of how the act is. You're different, and I don't like seeing that. So, he came home. Obviously, it's 4 a.m., so we didn't talk. I just pretended that I was asleep, but I was awake. He came and slept, woke up, and I kind of just gave him the silent treatment because I was still upset, and I didn't know how to express my words to him. So, Min was kind of clueless, but in my head, he should know why I'm upset. But I don't think you knew. And in the morning. <laughs> oh, you knew? Yeah. Why I was upset? Um, a little bit, yes. Oh. Because <laughs> I was late. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So we, it was on the weekend, so we were like cleaning the house. So we literally just cleaned the whole house in silence. <laughs> like the whole time we just, it was just awkward silence. I think we woke up around like 10. Yeah. So finally around noon, I talked. I said something to him and I told him, I expressed like, you didn't message me. You went out drinking. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. 
And then I told him in the future that if you want to drink, you can drink, but don't come home. Because <laughs> that's how much I didn't like it. And how did you feel when I told you that? Not good. Mm. Yeah. That's home. Well done. It's a good place. <laughs> yes. But I just really don't like seeing it or knowing any or just knowing about it. So I told him, like, don't, if you want to drink, then just go stay at your friend's house. <laughs> don't come home. And he didn't feel that great about it. Um, but I changed my mind after some time because I was still upset when I said that. I was like, I still wish that would happen, but in res like, this is his home. So I asked him if he does, just don't come to bed, stay in the living room. Because I don't want to be around the different <laughs> sangmin that comes <laughs> to drink it. Whether it's lovingly or not, I don't like to see it. And what do you think? How that? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean not good? I mean, I have a bed here. Yeah. And I cannot sleep. But it, it is your choice. Obviously, if you don't drink, you come sleep. It's your bed. But the very rare, rare times that you say you might go drink with your friend, yeah. then you're choosing to do that uh -huh. versus also choosing to not sleep in the bed. I still want to sleep in the bed <laughs> 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 and drink. <laughs> but do you think, is it fair for me? Because it, it really makes me sad. Like, I really don't like it. So I said, mm. I wouldn't do anything active. I would just go sleep. But yeah. you cannot control that. I did. No. When I, when I came home at four, I no. just went to sleep. No. Well, I, sh yeah. I shower <laughs> and just Obviously, lay. you just went to sleep because I pretended I was sleeping. But if I was awake... You cannot control what no, your body I, I can, does. I can do it. That's like saying, that's like a drunk person saying, I can drive. I'm not drunk, I can drive. I can You cannot control I, your inhibition. That's, I can stay, alcohol changes your I can, whole. I can stay silent. It's not that hard. Okay, but actions speak louder than words because I know when you can't just went to sleep. Uh huh. No. Yes, you did. I did. I don't know. Anya, you're extra cuddly and loving. Oh, uh, because I think at the time I felt guilty. Anya, that's how you are, <laughs> Taeyang. I know you. That's how you are. <laughs> really. I usually cuddle you. In the back. That was normal acting. Anya. Normal. I always cuddle you. No, when you lay down that way, I cuddle you. And then when Sometimes. and when it gets to the point where I'm uncomfortable <laughs> with that position, then I change. Okay, well as you can see, we still have not really <laughs> solved this problem. I don't like it, so comment down below what you guys think. Maybe I'm in the like completely wrong and it's rude of me to ask, but that's just my line I and on top of that it's not like he does it frequently. Yeah, so it's understandable. If I do it every day, I think it's a problem. Yeah. But it's like once, so yeah, it's once like in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon, you can sleep on the couch. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's so where, right? It doesn't matter. No, you can, uh, you know, give me mercy. No, you're choosing that, to do that. Because I, cause I do once in a blue moon, you can forgive me. Bombastic side eye. No, so because you, you are you. choosing to do that. It's your choice. I'll forgive you if it's an accident. You are choosing to put your clothes on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can forgive them. And I forgive them. That's totally and different. <laughs> I put them in the laundry basket. Same thing. <laughs> That's totally you, different. You choose to put, them, put it on the floor. And <laughs> I put it in the back in the laundry basket. That's totally I different. Because I understand you. Because I understand <laughs> your <out>. lifestyle, <laughs> your life. So you cannot compare those things. The concept <laughs> here is choosing. No, the concept is choosing. how I feel 
and based on your choices. So and, you're telling me and it's also how I feel about you. <laughs> You choose to so put your clothes you on the floor. You feel as terrible as I feel when I leave my clothes on the floor. When you do versus... it for three years, yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> body, <laughs> and plus I don't do it every single day. Sometimes I don't do it every single day. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> it's not going as planned. <laughs> I think it's the same thing, even though it's a small thing. But the feelings uh, are not the same. Like, be honest. How I feel when I know you're drinking alcohol, I literally feel so bad. Like, I really don't like it. And you're equating that to your feelings of how when I put my clothes on the floor, that's the same. Okay, it's a little bit different. Thank you. Five. Because you were really downplaying how I felt. Yes, I know. I know how you feel, friend. <laughs> but once in the blue moon, I'm yeah, your, you can once in the blue moon. I'm like your. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so. So I mean, if I we have a, a really really nice couch, probably we in that on that couch doesn't fit my body. Then don't drink alcohol. <laughs> Sleep in your wonderful bed that... and have a healthy brain. Sounds great to me. Oh, uh, I heard like if you go to America, you need to, like a lot of like do networking with people. So I think I need to prepare for that. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know that networking in America does not involve drinking like it does in Korea? Uh, I give it to you. You got me there. Right. <laughs> There's no peer pressure at all like that, like in Korea. Okay, good point. But I'm in Korea right now. But you, you're the one who mentioned America, okay. so that was a mistake. <laughs> okay, we're just going way too long. Or okay, so that was our argument. We talked about his sides, and that's what I said. And so far, we don't know if he'll sleep on the couch or not, because he has not drank since then. He doesn't drink often. Once that was like w the first time in like a long time. Yeah, one like, almost like first time. What do you mean first time? Was that your first? Almost time? first time. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost out of like 10? Two, three. That was not your third time drinking. Not third time drinking, but... Oh, like staying out with your yeah, friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the whole time I've known him, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, this will go back and forth. Um, we'll move on. And when that time comes, then we'll figure out... We'll cross that bridge. <laughs> so there is that. As you can see, we're not perfect. You should make a part three. <laughs> okay, our last argument, which was quite recently... So we recently, which you will see in the next coming few videos, are planning for our wedding, which is, this is like big hint. So if you guys are watching this, you're getting big hints. We had a meeting with the venue. Yes. And I felt that we needed to prepare. We had to, just short terms, we had, I thought we needed to prepare a lot. Mm -hmm. It was like the day of, we had like three hours or less until we had to have the meeting so we're like searching you know preparing but it was also lunchtime so our lunch came we eat lunch i naturally eat lunch fast but in my head we don't have a lot of time so we need we should eat quickly and continue preparing mm -hmm. i even said to min like you should focus on eating because min is a slower eater than me but when watching tv he becomes even slower i think that's for many many people when you're watching tv you're just like you know so i said to him oh like we should focus on eating like eat our food so we can so i finished my food quite fast hop back on the computer preparing preparing and like 30 minutes go by and min's still eating and then suddenly it's time for us to go and we didn't get to continue to prepare i just did it by myself so i got upset that he didn't prioritize it and prepare with me like we we're supposed to and i told him i felt that yeah he didn't make it a priority and he didn't think it was important and what did you think or say to me or how did you feel how did i feel yeah um was... so the whole ride there we were i mean we were silent to oh, the yeah. venue because yes. i was upset so 
there was thing I didn't say mm. at the time. So you thought I wasn't pro- prioritizing the the what the wedding planning. Or I didn't think I ate that that late or slow. Mm. Maybe later that it was slower than you. Mm-hmm. But I finished my meal, and actually I just I was cleaning the table, mm-hmm. and I came back, and I, I don't think you knew I cleaned the table. Mm-hmm. It took a little bit of time, and then when you look back, it was like a little clean, mm-hmm. and you just saw me and you were upset. Mm. But we had to go. When you finished eating, we had to leave. Yes. Yeah, so if I didn't clean. Yeah, so you, might, you didn't I, prioritize it. I had a little bit of time. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, so how long did it take you to clean the table? Uh, three minutes. How long? <laughs> three minutes. Three minutes. So if you didn't clean, then you would have gave me three minutes. Let's say you didn't so, clean the table, so only three minutes would so, have been gave to... Yeah, so I think um, it was uh, a little bit of um, my problem. My fault. <laughs> and yeah, I think I, I, what I had to do at the time, I think I just had to eat next to her, like on the desk. Oh, yes. I think that would be better. That would have that been. That would have been better. Yes. yes. But I think one of the, one of the problems that I had at the time was that why didn't you think of it why didn't you realize that we did not finish preparing and it wasn't a big deal to you Mm -hmm. so i think that's what really got me upset not that he was eating slow but the fact that we needed to finish preparing and now we're going to this meeting not prepared at all but he doesn't see that as a problem we are two different people Mm. I cannot think as the same way as you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. 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 We are at a different level mm-hmm. when you do something. Yes. You are very, very, um, you have to be, everything should be already like over 100%. Mm-hmm. I think that's how I feel. Mm-hmm. You always have to plan like 100%, over 100%. Mm-hmm. But I'm not that kind of person. Mm-hmm. 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 I think maybe I, I have to prepare a little bit, mm. but how I normally do, I prepare not hundred percent, but maybe like seventy six percent. We were at like thirty percent. Yes. <laughs> so that not even. So yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just want to give you guys. So a- we are we are we are not very prepared at the time. We were really not prepared. Let's say there was a list of 10 things. We did two. Yes. So we were really, really not prepared. Luckily, in the when we got there, it was okay that we weren't prepared. But we didn't know what to expect. So obviously, we should just prepare for, you know, it all. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I agree. We are different people. I prepare, like, way more. Yes. I'm, like, 110%. Everything. He's just like 75% and then figure the rest out as it goes yeah. on, uh-huh. which I can handle, but we weren't even near, we weren't even 50%. We knew things a little bit. I Very mean, we had a, just, we had a concept. Yeah. We were literally like 20%. Mm. So, uh, about halfway to our bus right there, I didn't want to go into the meeting both upset. So I just pretty much, then... We were kind of like silent. And then, of course, because men will not say anything. <laughs> but we were literally going to the meeting. So in my head, I'm like, well, I can't wait for men to say his side because I don't know when that will come. So I will just express my side. So I told him how I felt and pretty much that I felt like he didn't put it priority. He said he does. Like, he's like, that's not true. And, which I agree. Like, I know he he knows it's important. Mm -hmm. And I just told him that I want you to give 100% to these things. I don't, I know your style is 75% and I'm 110. 
then the middle point is 100. You should never go less than 100 to something that's very important. You don't have to go above and beyond, but she, you should not go less than 100 when it's something so important. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. if it's something not as important, then yeah, I will accept less. Like I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But this is quite important, very like our wedding. So I told him that if you will not give 100%, then I will also not give 100%. And I think if I don't give 100%, then it all fails. <laughs> because I do a lot. Because that's my personality. Yes. I do a lot of the planning and organizing and making sure we're on the right track. And so if I drop any percent, then a lot of it will drop. Like, the quality of our uh, whole thing yeah. will be that's true. so much lower. So I just express that if you want me to keep going at the rate, I need you to also the at same. least match me. Don't be 110, but you need to be 100. That sounds like that's the where we, I think we kind of argue mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Really? I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think this comes up often because there's not much that where I give 110 and then you don't. And then we argue about it. I feel like this was the only really other time. That I can re think of. No more like, if you, I do the way you expect me to do. Ah, uh, but that's then, a little different. Oh, okay. That's a little different. But he's so, that's so true. My major flaw is I assume he can do it the way that I do in my head. That's my major flaw. So I expect him to do it this way. Yeah. Because I think that is the most efficient and best way, but he does it some other way. And then I am upset that he didn't do it the best and efficient way that I think is. Mm. So so I think like that's the where we like, kind of have to communicate more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And then we have to learn, in my opinion, I mean, even though you're, I'm or you said the time, mm. we have to learn a way how to say to them or tell them without hurting their feeling mm -hmm. yeah but side note min has a very tender heart <laughs> and if i say anything slightly strong sounding then his feelings get hurt very uh, very easily so for me i really have to work on yeah how to say things that won't hurt his feelings but sometimes what when i say something I don't even realize I said anything mean and then I could just tell his feelings are down and I'm like I, I literally ask him like how are you feeling because I could tell he's not happy but I literally have no idea what I said that would cause that feeling and then he says oh you should say like that and like I have a lot to work on with that but sometimes and we've we've discussed this many times like I don't know how to change such everyday phrases like i'm not thinking like oh wait this might make men feel hurt i should change how i say it when in my head i'm just saying something normal mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. it's just a regular phrase like mm -hmm. for a really short example we were like looking at something and men's like oh what do you think i was like oh we don't need to do that doesn't 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 matter mm -hmm. and he felt upset that you know how i said that Again, I, I can't explain it because to me, I was just like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, move on. Next one. Doesn't matter. But he, that hurt his feelings, which is valid. But I don't see how that can hurt someone's feelings. I can't. As much as I try to think, like, how can I reword it? It, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't click in my head. So we both have to find compromise in that scenario. Like, I try a lot. And I will always try. And at least I, if I say something and I realize I hurt his feelings, I always address him. I always ask how he feels and to know what I said was wrong. And I apologize. Like, that's not what I mean to say. And I think and I hope that men also remembers that 99% of the time, I don't say things to hurt his feelings. Like, I just say things. I'm just saying, speaking. Maybe there's that one person where I am actually mad. 
and so but i'm not saying it to hurt your friends i'm just saying it in coming from a place of hurt or anger but yeah that is another one of our struggles in our relationship yeah definitely but yeah, i cannot even now when i think about it, i cannot figure out how to reword it because sometimes they ask me like oh can you say it like in a nicer way or a better way yeah. but when i think about it i'm like how i don't know how right. how do you say that nicer does it matter when it doesn't matter well in that scenario you remember you know, remember what i'm talking about it was like an it was like a side piece of what we were searching like it connected with it uh -huh. and if we went down that path it probably would have taken us so long like searching all that and blah blah, blah. but i already knew that piece of whatever wasn't important uh-huh so he asked and I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. And then you got, your feelings got hurt. Mm -hmm. And then I asked you, and but I was so clueless at that time. I was like, <laughs> and you're like, you know, how to say nicely. Most of the time I could, I can see where I, where, what I say can come off. Like, I guess not that nice, but th at that specific point, even now I'm like, Dude, this is where you have to meet me halfway because this is the line where we must meet because that I cannot change. There's a lot of times I see where my mistakes are and I will work on fixing them. But, bruh, how do you think, say uh, it doesn't think, matter? We already talked about this in that scenario. I think it's more, uh, for me, it's more about how... I was going to say tone, but my tone yeah. was literally like, yeah, the tone. oh, that doesn't matter. Yeah. How do I say that? Like in Korea, uh, I would say in Korea. Mm. So it doesn't matter in Korea, it's Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, it's Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. You gotta agree with me. So, it's like, uh, kind of like you feel ignored. But I think mm -hmm. the nice way would be, oh, you got no problem. It's okay, tell it's okay. <laughs> but do you see? Okay, but this yeah. is where you need to meet me halfway. I can, yes, modify a lot of things. Or but if that's my way of speech, or, you should um, know that I'm not yeah. saying it to be rude. That's just my way of speech. And in English, that's not rude at all. Viewers, please correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll admit it. I say like, but me saying, well, it doesn't matter. oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter is not rude or mean in english tone it's how i like here it's like the difficulties does, of international relationships it doesn't matter that's not how i said it it doesn't matter that's not how i said it though you're adding more how, how, how do you say it? I th it doesn't matter it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't no, matter you're adding you're I, adding i'm not tone. adding anything it doesn't matter <laughs> okay I would say, oh, it doesn't matter. What you said, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> no, not like that. Yeah, that's what you want me to oh, how you want me to oh, say. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's exactly what I said. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, everybody, this video is way too long. So this is where you should meet me in the middle. Like, I cannot change my whole entire speech. You should also realize I'm not doing it to be mean. But I can tell he's he's not. He doesn't move. What? You're, you are not willing to meet in the, in the middle. I'm, not, I'm, I'm moving. Can meet in the middle. <laughs> no, but yeah. I don't want to go and there and meet. <laughs> I want in the middle. You don't want to go there. I, I want to meet in the middle. Yeah. Yes. So you have to. That's what I said. I also have. Yeah, I have to understand your side, and you understand my side too. And have I not? Every time I ask you, when I realize that maybe I said something wrong, before I would just keep going. Mm -hmm. But these days I talk to you. I ask you what mm -hmm. did I say, and I ask how can I say it better the next time. But have you once thought, oh, maybe she's not saying that to be mean? Um, that's very hard because at the time, 
you know, the emotions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it make it makes it difficult. Yeah. It's also not easy for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just talking normally. So, we... Yeah, we need help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, this video... We need, a, we need a advices wait, wait, from, advice. from you guys. So, yeah, this video turned out way longer than what I thought it would. But I just wanted to show that we are not the perfect <coughs> couple, and nor do we pretend to be the perfect couple. And we just wanted to show our real sides and our real troubles um but yeah we have a lot of wise viewers yes like a lot of people for are sure. wise. so maybe they have some tips and tricks like i don't want to invalidate men's feelings his feelings or his feelings but it's also very hard for me to just change entirely how i say things mm -hmm. so thank you all for watching it's way past our bedtime and until next time <laughs> bye, bye.